what's going good people in today's video here for horizon zero dawn i'm going to give you guys some tips on how to beat the cauldron sigma boss the fire bellowback i'm going to show you guys a few different strategies on hard and very hard difficulty levels so with that let's get started so what you want to do is grapple on down and take out the two watches that are on patrol so just go ahead tag those bad boys and light them up put an arrow into their knee i mean their head and make things easier for you. Now the thing that makes this battle a little bit tricky and a little bit difficult is it takes place in a very small and enclosed area. But one of the things you can do to level the playing field is to lay down as much traps as you can in the vicinity. Now if you don't have the ability to make any traps, what you might want to do is load up an earlier save, especially if this battle is giving you trouble, and then acquire the resources and then perhaps tackle it at a later date. But if you still want to take it on, man, I'm going to show you guys a few different strategies that may be useful regardless. But go ahead, lay down traps in the area so that you can ensure that the fire bellowback is caught in the traps. Now, another strategy that works for me is I laid down traps along the perimeter in a circle. So I'm going to show you on the map exactly what I mean. But this ensures that I can easily lure in the fire bellow back into the traps. I know where the traps are at. And also it can catch any straggler watches that may um, come out and make things a little bit more difficult for me. And so it just makes it easier for me to catch them into the trap. So just once again, just lay down the traps in a circle around the perimeter and catch anything that you feel is necessary. You can also lay down traps in between the gaps. So go ahead, lay down a few traps in between the gaps and just lay down as many traps as you can. It's a trap. Just trap it up all day, man. So once you're done laying down a lot of traps, one of the things you can do is you can go to this particular panel. I'm going to show you on the map exactly what I'm talking about, but you can go to this panel uh, showing you guys exactly on the map where I'm talking about. And the reason why I suggest to go to this panel is because it gives you a good vantage point to take out some of the incoming watches. There are a few different panels in the area, but um, I just prefer to use this one. Now, you can't stay up here all day when you um, override the panel and you let go the fire bellow back because Buddy will light you up, light your ass on fire. So what you want to do is when you override the panel, jump over here and turn around and then take out any incoming watches that could be a headache in the battle. Now, the fire bellow back has three main attacks that we need to look out for. His first main attack is the projectile flame attack. Second attack is the Rhino Charge, and the third attack is the Constant Flamethrower attack. All three attacks can be devastating and deadly depending on when they catch you. Now the Flame Projectile attack, what you want to do for that one is it always tracks your movement. So whatever direction you're heading in, that is pretty much where the projectile will head in. So what I find easiest to dodge this attack is to perhaps just stand still and then wait for the incoming flame and then move out the way. Also take note that after he attacks you, the flame lingers around for a while. But if you head in a constant direction, that's when it can spoil trouble, especially if you're low on health. It's easier for him to hit you, especially if you're running. So once again, what I like to do is just stand in place and then dodge the fireball before it hits me. Um, don't run around. Don't allow the fireball to track your movements. Now, the Rhino Charge operates in a similar fashion in that it tracks your movements. So I also like to stand in place for that and then wait for the Fire Bellowback to do the Rhino Charge and then dodge out the way. Now, the Rhino Charge can be a devastating attack. It's perhaps its most devastating attack. Um, even on hard or very hard difficulty levels, it pretty much is like a one-hit quitter if it catches you at the right moment. So on a hard mode, I had three-fourths of my health, and I caught a direct hit from the Rhino Charge, and it was pretty much end of story for me. So right here, it tracked my movements, and then boom, that's all she wrote, took me out. And on very hard mode, I had just a little bit more than three-fourths of my health, and the same thing, same result, direct hit, boom, that's all she wrote. So you just want to make sure that the um, Rhino Charge doesn't track you and then at the appropriate time just dodge out the way. Same thing goes for the um, Flame Attack. Um, it doesn't necessarily track you in the same manner, but if the Fire Bellowback gets close to you, the Flame Attack can do a lot of damage. So you don't want to get hit from that. So once again, now the only thing about the Flame Attack is that sometimes I'm expecting the Rhino Charge and instead I get the Flame Attack. And it does a significant amount of damage to me and right here, as you can see, took me out. So it melts you real quick. Now, the easiest way I found to take out the Fire Bellow back, man, is just, of course, to lure it into one of the traps, and then when it's down, just light them up, and just aim for the sack above and below it. And as you can see right here, I'm just doing a constant 28 point damage. I don't have a really um, special bow, I'm not using anything sophisticated, don't have any special mods on. But another thing you can do to increase the damage is if you want to use a uh, freeze bomb. 
So you could go ahead and use a freeze bomb on the fire bella back when it's caught in the trap and you will do almost twice the damage. You don't need to use two, I just kind of did. But as you can see right here, I'm doing 51 point damage, so almost twice the damage, about 1.8 more damage is being dealt to the fire bellow back. So just go ahead and constantly light it up. And then try to lure it into the traps and just keep on repeating that. So as you can see right here, I'm doing 51 point damage. Slightly more, almost double more than the 28 point damage. Now after you do a significant amount of damage to the sacks, they will explode. So that's something to be mindful of. I think they can cause damage if you're caught in the explosion. So you don't want to be too close to this bad boy under any circumstances. So just lure it into the trap. Just run around a little bit. Dodge anything. Once it's stunned, go ahead, use the freeze bomb. And then light it up. Do that extra damage. And just keep repeating that. And then eventually the sack below it will blow up. So just dodge. Let it get stunned. Hit some of the environment. Use the freeze bomb, then use the arrows and blow up the sack. There, there we go. So now I just keep repeating that man until the fire bellow back goes down. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I think when all the sacks are gone, it can't do any more flame attack. So the only thing you have to worry about is the rhino charge, which once again can be devastating. So. You just want to stay far away from it as possible. But I could be mistaken about that. Somebody let me know in the comments below. So just keep repeating that nevertheless. Just keep learning it into a trap. And then eventually Mr. Fire Bellow back will go down. Make sure you scavenge the surrounding area. Loot the body. Loot all the watches that you took out in the process. And then call it a day. Now there's one more thing you can do if you feel you're up to it. When the Fire Bellow back is stunned or when it goes down. You can go in for a critical attack, which will do a significant amount of damage. I just don't like to get close to bad boy. So just go in for a critical attack and do a hell of damage on Mr. Firebella back if you feel like you want to go that route. So you can take advantage of the time when it's down and out for the count for a little bit. Uh, so folks, that is pretty much that, man. Just wanted to give you guys a few tips on how to beat the Cauldron Sigma boss, Mr. Fire Bellow back. On a few difficulties, of course, very hard and hard, but of course these could be applicable to, um, normal and below. But let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. As always, I appreciate the support. And with that there, fellas, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.